More often now, younger people are turning into leaders. Their strong voices are paving the way with calls for equality and greater knowledge of diversity. We have seen it with protests across the country. High school and college students are really leading the way in this. Yeah, now we're seeing it right here in the Capital Region. At Siena College, students are the leaders in spreading messages of diversity and inclusivity. As part of our in-depth coverage of Black History Month, the powerful message when students speak. <laughs> Cynthia Isaac Duche is a senior. Cynthia, you are the president now of the Black Student Union Club on campus. Alyssa Blanco is a junior. I'm the chair of the DEI committee. And Kevin Goodman is a sophomore. I wasn't expecting to be vice president by my sophomore year. They are all leaders and change makers on the campus of Siena College, all affiliated with the Damietta Cross Cultural Center, which promotes and celebrates diversity on campus. Named after Damietta, Egypt, where it is believed an instrumental conversation took place between St. Francis and Sultan Malik about Christianity and Islam and how different backgrounds can coexist. And that's exactly the work these students are doing at Siena. What inspires you to get involved and do the work that you do? So coming to Siena, it was a little bit of a culture shock for me. It was just a little different. <laughs> Cynthia grew up in Haiti, moved to Brooklyn when she was eight in a predominantly black area. I think I kind of want to inspire other people and just kind of give them a home and a place to go to because I know how I felt coming here, so I'm sure other people feel like that too. Kevin is also from New York City. Coming here definitely was a little different, a little scary because you don't know what to expect. He remembers going for walks with his godfather, who's white, and having people stare at them. At a young age, as a black child or a person of color, you, you understand these things. Alyssa brings a different experience to the table. She grew up in Western New York with little to no diversity. Like, it's not something that necessarily uh, came with me with my upbringing. I come from a small town in the middle of nowhere. All of these life experiences individually that you've had have led you to this point where you want to be that change, right? Be mm -hmm. that voice on campus with your fellow students, maybe leave a little mark behind. I know how important it is to get other voices involved because it's, we can't sit around and do nothing. There needs to be people who also care. The Multicultural Center at Siena was first formed in the 1990s. It took on the name Damietta in 2020 and is run by brother George Camacho. It has a number of groups under it, including the Black, Latinx, Muslim, and Asian Student Union Clubs. <laughs> Together, the groups put on dozens of events, inviting influential speakers, organizing engaging panels, and putting on cultural shows. From when you arrived and where you are now, and how have things changed? Have they changed at all? Um, I, I don't think the work is ever done. Um, I would say that from my freshman year, Siena has improved drastically, especially when planning Black History Month. I've gotten a lot of um, messages from other boards on campus asking, you know, what are you doing? Can we collaborate with you? And our conversation with Cynthia, Alyssa, and Kevin continues coming up at 5.30. How major moments across the country impacts them most recently, the death of Tyree Nichols. And then live at 6, the call for more students to join in on this conversation, what they fear may happen if they don't have more students joining in. It's always refreshing when you see young people taking leadership roles like this, right? I mean, I, I remember being 20 years old and I wasn't in a position no, to do that. Not I'm at impressed. All. But how much we learn from yeah. them when they do things like this. So looking forward to sharing more of it. Yeah. We go back now to our conversation with a group of Siena College students who are leading the charge when it comes to promoting diversity on campus, and you spoke to them. Yes, at 4 o'clock we introduce you to these students and the work they're doing through the school's cross-cultural center. New at 5, how what's going on across the country is impacting them. Here they are once again, Cynthia Isaac Duje, Alyssa Blanco, and Kevin Goodman, all working under the Damietta Cross Cultural Center at Siena. They're all part of celebrating diversity by organizing events, bringing different backgrounds on campus together. When you guys see what's going on across the country, um, you know, obviously most recently in Memphis with, um, with Tyree Nichols, how does that weigh into the work that you're doing? And how does that affect you? I feel like it's too normalized. Like the fact that stuff like that is happening and it's like, it's so normalized that we don't, it's kind of like a blank feeling, like a numb feeling to it. Cause it's like, oh, 
That could have been me, but it wasn't, thank God. Is there uh, some motivation that comes from, we can't stop? Right, we gotta keep yeah, doing what we do. So just being in an environment where people feel like they're supported, I think is very, very important. And I, I wanna show that, like, you're supported here, so. <laughs> I mean, if you're not actively against everything that's going on in the world, then what are you? Put yourself out there. Um, the time for change is now, and there's no reason to be afraid because there's people like us who are ready to come support you. But these students do have concerns about getting enough students involved in this important work of spreading the message of diversity, the message they have for their fellow students, and what they fear may happen if more students don't get involved. That's coming up live at 6. And they're just so eloquent, so well-spoken, and so motivated at such a young age. Yeah, and to say that, you know, if you're not part of it, you're part of the problem in a way, my paraphrasing right. them, is that you've got to get involved when you see things happening because it's, it's on your watch. It is, yeah. and at the young age, they see that. Thanks, Sabrina. Turning to our special series now, When Students Speak, we've been sharing parts of our conversation with a group of students at Siena College who are the leading voices in promoting and celebrating diversity on campus. And new at six, the message these students have for their peers and what they fear may happen if that message is not taken seriously. first met them on News Channel 13 Live at 4. Cynthia Isaac Duge, a senior, Alyssa Blanco, a junior, and Kevin Goodman, a sophomore. You heard their different life experiences and what has led them to be inspired to work to promote diversity at Siena. Cynthia is the president of the Black Student Union, Kevin the vice president, and Alyssa is chair of the DEI committee on campus, all working under the Damietta Cross Cultural Center, named for a city in Egypt where it is said a crucial conversation took place in the 13th century on how different religions and backgrounds can coexist. The Damietta group has five subsections and about 25 students in each of those, and these students feel that number should be much bigger. What do you think needs to be done to inspire more students to join in on this more? What would you say, Alyssa? I think this is definitely like the biggest question that we all have. The students are the ones who are facilitating this and it's so amazing to see that change, but it's hard with small numbers. The time for change is now. Sooner or later, if it keeps it that way, the club would just die down and wouldn't even be a club no more. Kevin, as the youngest of the group, <laughs> um, what would you say to, to I guess, other, other students who are also just freshmen joining in 18, 19 years old? I would say definitely if you feel like you want to like be that role, or even if you don't feel like you like are brave enough to be that role, still try. This position of leadership is something they not only enjoy doing, they feel they must do. Our generation is just very, like, very talkative. We're very, um, you know, we tell people what we think. We have no issues standing up for ourselves. So I think that a lot of places are realizing that it's time to let the younger generation, you know, um, step up and start taking up these roles because we will be taking them in the future. So might as well let us get some practice in now. And after college, plans are already in the works. Kevin is studying American history. The main goal for me is to teach black history. Alyssa is studying social work. I have a soft spot for working as a crisis worker with the police, um, going on mental health cases and things like that. And Cynthia wants to teach English to students in France in addition to pursuing her major. So right now I do want to work in business psychology. In the meantime, each has a message for fellow students. Don't be afraid of uncomfortable conversation. Encourage people to leave into discomfort. I, I don't think the work is ever done. We thank these three students for sitting down having this conversation with us. We talked quite a bit about their background. We'll have that story posted on our website, WNYT.com, as well as a link to the Damietta Center. People worry about our future, and then we're reminded of young people like this. Yes, thank goodness for kids like this. Yeah.